Next up, we're gonna test our total chlorine, which is also gonna help us figure out our combined chlorine. We're gonna use the small side of the compartmenter tube, and we're gonna go up to the nine mark, and we'll go ahead and we'll turn that. So if you see the little mark there when it focuses, uh, the bottom of the bubble, that's where we want our uh, water line to be. So we're gonna take five drops of RO01, reagent number one, add it to the solution. Now we're gonna take five drops of RO02 in the brown bottle there. Cap it and shake it. All right, so now that we got that test in there, we're gonna take a reading of that sample and it's probably, take a look at it. What's that look like? A uh, five, probably. Okay, looks like a five on the FCL. So we're gonna bring it back down, write that number down, that is our free chlorine. Now we're gonna add five drops of RO03 and it should change it to be a much darker color. I missed the first drop so I had to do that extra. So again, shake it up, Ooh, yeah. test it to the color, to the light, and what's that look like, seven? Probably about a six or a seven. And the reason why those numbers are so close right now is because we just shocked the pool. So it's actually right where we want them. Um, we want those numbers to be extremely close. So now if we take our FCL, and what number was that? Five. A five. Now we have our total chlorine, which was our second drop. And that was? About a six, maybe a six. A six. If we take the top number, uh, we take the, the six minus the five, total chlorine minus free chlorine, we end up with CC of one. So we minus it in that direction, and that gives us our combined chlorine, and that's what we record on our patron count sheet.